Members will be seated. Members of the Congress, it is my great privilege, and I deem it a high honor and personal privilege, to present to you Her Excellency Corazon C. Aquino, President of the Republic of the Philippines. So what was the situation of the country during that time? When former President Corazon Aquino spoke before a joint session of the United States in September of 1986, the dust was only the beginning to settle. It was her first visit to America since the dictator Ferdinand Marcos had been deposed in February of the same year and the Philippine was reckoning with everything his administration had inflicted. That included the $26 billion US dollar in total of foreign debt and a communist insurgency that grew throughout the Marcos era from 500 armed guerrillas to 1600s, we were just at the start of a long road to recovery. The speech was intended to declare the freedom of the Filipinos for Marcos' regime, to mark a new beginning for the Filipinos and to its government, and to appeal for financial assistance by informing the Americans about the Philippine state. I left America in grief to bury my husband, Ninoy Aquino. I thought I had left it also to lay to rest his restless dream of Philippine freedom. Today I have returned as the president of a free people. By that brave and selfless act of giving honor a nation in shame recovered its own. A country that had lost faith in its future found it in a faithless and brazen act of murder. So in giving we receive, in losing we find, and out of defeat we snatched our victory. Today we face the aspiration of a people who had known so much poverty and massive unemployment for the past 14 years, and yet offer their lives for the abstraction of democracy. Wherever I went in the campaign, slum area or impoverished village, they came to me with one cry, democracy. Not food, although they clearly needed it, but democracy. Not work, although they surely wanted it, but democracy. Not money, for they gave what little they had to my campaign. They didn't expect me to work a miracle that would instantly put food into their mouths, clothes on their back, education in their children and give them work that will put dignity in their lives. But I feel the pressing obligation to respond quickly as the leader of a people so deserving of all these things. When she took over the presidency, she was seen not only as a widowed wife, but also as the people's champion and the mother of the Philippine democracy. The relevance of Corazon Aquino's speech in understanding history is that it revealed the Filipino struggle for freedom against the oppressive government of former President Marcos. The speech also recognized the Filipino sacrifices with honor and dignity, and it also expressed a deep sense of appreciation for today's democracy.